This one is the lab where we are working and we assemble the instrument. And this one is the actual instrument, which is KMOS. This one here, this beast chunk, beast chunk of metal, is actually the real instrument. The telescope is going to be on this side of the instrument. The light will be collected and we'll go through that little window you maybe can see there. That is the window where the light is coming in. That is the only visible part, the only part of this which is open and has to be protected as that because we work in the near infrared, so we have to work at very low temperature of the order of minus 200 degrees. So in order to observe very distant galaxies, we need a very powerful telescope. Very powerful instrument to a very powerful telescope. And this one is our four very big telescope called the Very Large Telescope, VLT, which are in Chile, very high altitude. And each of these telescope has got a very large mirror, eight meter in diameter. And this new instrument is gonna go just side of it. And this is how we're gonna attach that instrument at the telescope. And through this massive telescope, we can observe very, very distant galaxies. So this instrument is called KMOS and is the most part is multi-object spectrograph. So we do more than one object per time. We do actually 24. And the K stands because we observe in the near infrared. This is a very simple way to explain what we actually do with a telescope. Assume that this is the distant universe, which one you want to study. This is what the telescope is seeing. As you can see, there are many, many galaxies, but only some of them are really interesting. So with KMOS, what do we do? We have all the arms positioned around the field of view, and we can move them practically in this direction to pick up the objects which are interesting and go and study practically only the objects which are very interesting for our type of studies. You can move all the objects and take spectra of very, very interesting object. So this is a clean room because part of the instrument needs to be protected by dust. What we do here is we assemble every single component of this arm. As you can see, there are several electronics plus mechanical bits. What do we do? We have to cool it down to a very low temperature to prove that all these mechanisms are actually working. And after this, after the cycle, we say, okay, it's okay. We cool it down again to see if it's still working. When all this cryogenic test is fine, we align the object. Here we have a camera to check that all the alignments are perfect. And then when it's ready, the objects are prepared. We have here five or six. In total, we have made 30, just a few spares. And they have to go inside the big instrument in a round shape. This one here is the peak off uh, mirror. So the light from the stars is picked by this little mirror, sent through and then down, where it's collected through the rest of the instrument. So what, the, what an integral field does, if we have an, a galaxy, we can take segments of the galaxy. Each part of the galaxies can be made to a series of little slitlets, as we call, and each of them can be dispersed. Using the spectra of each part of the galaxy, all we can do, we have for each part of the galaxy, we get a spectrum. We get physical properties, not just for the entire system, but every single part of the galaxies. And we can get, if, for example, this part of the galaxy has got different properties from the other side of the galaxies. So practically, this instrument is nearly done, nearly finished. We are going to do the final assembling of some of the pieces and then we go to Chile next, at the end of this year. And by the beginning of next year, we do the assembling at the telescope. It's a quite big challenge. As you can see, it's a very big instrument, right? So it weighs a few tons. So what we have to do is have a special uh, big trucks. They come up here. We crane this, up, this massive thing in a big cage, put it onto the truck, deliver it to the airport. And there we have a big airplane to, fl uh, to fly to Chile. So this one is the entire instrument. We call this the vessel. So what we have here 
this is the interface that goes with the telescope. The telescope, imagine, would be here, enormous 8 meter telescope. Here we have the window, the eye of the instrument. So r right here, in the initial part of the instrument, right behind the window, we have the 24 arms just making a ring, able to pick up the light. When the light is collected, the light is passed through the middle of the instrument. And here, we have a series of mirrors which are able to practically dissect the galaxies and produce what we call an IFU, an integral field image of the, of the galaxy. And when the light is practically dissected, it's sent back to here where we have a spectrograph where we disperse the light, we, we practically create an image as a function of wavelength, and then this light is recorded into a detector, very sensitive near-infrared detector. The detectors are not the one we use in our, own, in our normal cameras, are thousand times more sensitive, and in particular wavelength in the near-infrared, where our eyes are not able to see. Then when the signal is recorded onto the detectors, through these cables, the signal is sent out to the control station down there where we record the signal and we make images after images after image of the sky to combine them together and produce the science images that we need to explore the universe.